All right, so wanting to know the value of your home is something that every homeowner should want to know, okay? However, most of the time, whenever you are wanting to know what your home would list for or the value of your home, you just go to a Zillow or a Realtor.com or a Redfin and see what that Zestimate or real, real estate sales estimate value price is and you go from there. Well, guys, you have to understand that these prices are not always that accurate. Okay, sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. They're just not consistent. Okay, so what I wanna do in this video is show you how you, um, the homeowner, can figure out a rough, good ballpark of what your actual value of your home is, okay, without having to go run comps. Now, there's nothing better than actually getting a real estate agent to run a comp for you in your home. They should not charge you for this. If you are talking with a real estate agent and, you're, and you ask them, hey, can you run comps on my home? I'd like to know what it will list for. And they ask you for money for it, find someone else, okay? That's called a broker price opinion, and they can charge you for that. But you should not be charged simply for knowing the value of your home. Any good real estate agent will want to give you the value of your home with in-depth comps to know exactly what your home is worth. But if you wanna just go in and you wanna run some numbers really quickly on your home, this video is gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's switch over to my screen and I will get into that to show you exactly how you can know roughly a ballpark of what your home is worth and not just relying on those estimates. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. We are um, at Realtor.com. Let me move this out of the way here. We got Realtor.com, we got Zillow, and we got Redfin. Now this is a home that I found just off market. Um, I don't know the person or specific reason why I picked it, um, but I just wanted to use one to be able to give you guys an example for. Okay, so let's say that you are the owner at 116 Whitefield. All right, and you want to know the value of your home, so you could easily just go to you could go to Redfin and see where it says four hundred thirty thousand nine fifty seven. You know, top here is four eighty seven, bottom is four ten. These are all again just estimated free, you know, just free resources that you can find, and they're not always terrible, but they're not really the greatest either. So let's see how consistent, first of all, this is between these three websites. So we have max 487 here, estimate 430 average. Let's go to Zillow. 471 max and 448 was the estimate. So this one is saying almost $18,000 or around $18,000 less than Zillow um, for that average price point. Lowest here is 410, highest here is 426. So guys, 15,000 to $16,000 is a big difference, right? Let's look at realtor.com. Realtor.com gives us, so you just gotta go down here to real, uh, real estimate. Um, you wanna go make sure you clicked all the way over here to the end. 435 is the smallest, 452 is the most. They would give you, so these numbers are somewhat all over the place, right? So we don't, we don't really know. I mean, we, we, you know, the lowest here is 426. The lowest one here is 430. The lowest one here is 435. So let me get, give you a good way that you can figure out the value of your home on your own without using a realtor in order to be able to figure that out. However, if you are very, 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 very serious about selling your home and listing your home, you need to hire a realtor and you actually don't have to pay a realtor to be able to run comps on your house, on your home. Okay. So just do that. Make sure you do that because when we are um, running comps on homes, we're not just going to Zillow. We're not going to, uh, you know, Redfin or Realtor.com. We are actually running comps on the home that have sold within six months and the same exact value that your home is, same room, same yard size, etc. Okay, we are very, 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 very picky about which homes we use versus Zillow, Realtor.com, and Redfin just kind of pull numbers from the market okay but 
This is a quick and easy way to do this, okay? So if you want to know the lowest you should take for your home, the average, and the highest, okay? So what we it's real simple. What we're going to do here is we're going to go to Redfin, and it says 410, okay? 410. So you need to make sure that you write down 410,000 or you don't even have to write it down, just go into your calculator on your phone, type in 410,000, and then go to Zillow. What's the lowest here? 426,000. And then let's go to, uh, so realtor.com is only giving us three, so we'll use 435,262. 435262. That number, now divide those by three, and you're going to get the average price of 423754. Okay, I'm just using my whiteboard here. 423754. That is the least, according to this, the least you can make. So I would round it up to, for easy number, 424. 424,000. Okay, now let's go back and look at the median. Okay, we have a 430, 957. Zillow is saying 448, 400, 448, 400. And realtor.com is, we're not going to use a realtor.com. Since it only gives us two, we're going to assume that this is the highest. Okay, so we're going to now divide that. 879357 uh 879357 divided by 2 439678 so we'll round that up to 440 440k for the median okay and then let's go look at the highest 487 plus 471 plus 452 692 452 692 divided by 3 that is 470 we'll round it out because it's 470 231 so we'll go 470 to make easy math Okay, so the lowest it's saying is 424. The average it's saying is 440. And now our numbers are average is 470. Okay. So you can see that the numbers they're giving you are kind of all over the place. We're taking the average of what they're taking and making it the average, right? Now, here is the final step that I would recommend doing just to be able to get a little bit more deeper number. Okay, so we can keep the 424 four as the lowest. Okay, now we can keep 470 as the highest. Okay, 440 is that middle. What I want to do though is take 424, the lowest, plus the average of 440, plus the highest of 470 which gives you a total of 1,334,000 and divide that by three. And that number is 444,666. So we'll just go 445. So 445,000 is roughly the number that I went based on. If you're just looking at what the value of your home is, I would say if you're, if you do that exact math, the home is average price is around 445. Okay. So the closest was Zillow. Okay. So you know the least amount you would want to take is 424. The least amount, the most amount you could probably get out of it is around 470. And the average listing price will be around 445 for this home. Now again, this is not based on an actual realtor running comps. This is based on just taking the numbers of what you can find on Realtor.com, Zillow, and Redfin and doing a little bit of math um, and figuring out what roughly your home price is. So this house right here, 116 Whitefield Trace, 
roughly around um, just by doing the numbers here you're looking around 445 on this home okay so guys again this is not like a dialed in solid number but this gives you a good solid roundabout number about what your home will list for versus just taking it um, and looking at it right there on Zillow, Realtor.com or Redfin. So guys, if you have any other creative ways that you like to figure out the value of your home without having to uh, call up a realtor to get that dialed in number, if you have a creative way that you like to uh, find a comp or if you have any questions in regards regards to your house um, and how I got this number and you, you want to know the actual value of your home leave a comment below guys I would be absolutely honored to be able to run a comp on your home give you a dialed in exact number for what your home would list for and we could get you working together or at least a solid number knowing what your home is worth all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like it give me a click on this video if you thought this was good content. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.